Hi guys, this is Nicole. And this is Tope. And, and welcome, welcome to Tribe. Tribe. Last last week, we did a bit of chocolate and ice cream splurging. Yes, ngayon naman, lipat tayo ulit sa China. China? Bakit? Aba, nakalimutan mo na. Panoorin mo to nang ma-refresh ang memory mo. Guys, watch this. Shomai, Kikia, Chinese Jerky, Popia, Roast Duck, Where Are We? Why, we're chasing Chinatown, of course. Actually, Food Trip started as an all-Filipino um, event. It's really a food fair. The first food trip was all-Filipino, and then we got um, tenants who were interested in joining, and they were Chinese. So we thought, why not have an all-Chinese food trip? And then it was perfect timing also because um, we attended a Binondo food walk where we got ideas of how to implement this event. The challenge is really getting the right concessionaires. And um, fortunately, so far, we've been getting um, reactions and feedback that um, we're, we're lucky that it's successful because we were, we were able to get the good participants. In this kind of event, you'll see foods which are mainly Chinese. But it's not just your typical Chinese snacks that you could catch at this event held at the Rockwell Power Plant Mall. There are fruits and assorted sweets too. The Chinese are known for making their famous mooncake or what we call hopia in the Philippines and their famous shopao. But the Chinese are also well versed when it comes to cooking the best viands in town. That includes the famous roast duck and their signature kikya. Chasing Chinatown won't be complete if their famous shomai is missing. It's not only Chinese delicacies that were present in the event, but sweets were popular too for those who want to save their sweet tooth. Next time you go on a food trip, go chase Chinatown. You never know when the right Chinese snack is waiting for you just around the bend.